think the British Open definitely holds that extra level of prestige um, amongst those sort of platinum events. I think before there was an official world championships, I believe it was the, you know, the British Open was sort of seen as the world championships, the, the pinnacle event of the sport. So um, I think to all players, it kind of has that extra special uh, place and everyone really wants to win that one. You know, you want to win all the platinum events, but that one has that little bit extra, but also as, you know, a British player um, and now British number one, um, it's, you know, all compounds and um, it was very, very special making the final a few years ago. Um, but, you know, at the time I wasn't satisfied with just getting to the final. Um, I was absolutely gutted when I lost that final. Um, you know, all, all credit to Laura on that day. She, you know, she was the better player and deserved to win that. But it's still one of the big boxes that I want to tick in my career. I've known for a while, like believed for a while, for a few years now that I can win these big events. Um, although the, the Black Ball Open that one wasn't a platinum event, it was actually, you know, everybody was there, all the players were there. And actually in some ways it was more difficult than a platinum event because there was, I had zero rest days. So, you know, five matches in five days is something that I think people um, didn't necessarily um, have faith in me that I could do. I knew I could, you know, um, I know, the work that I've put in and my coach and my team around me know that. So I have the, you know, I have the confidence that I can repeat that again. And um, the, you know, the platinum events are there to, you know, showcase the best, the best players in the world and, and challenge them. So, I, you know, I, I really feel like I can, I can make a, an, an extra breakthrough and win, win ones hopefully very soon. <laughs> It's been like really great the last uh, couple of events to have the fans back. You know they've been um, there in Egypt and you know really good, really good here. They get get quite vocal, uh, especially as the evening goes on. So that's been really good. So actually to then um, be able to take that to the next level and have the home crowd. Um, hopefully um, we can safely get as big a crowd in as possible because that'd be awesome. There's so many people in the UK that are desperate to come. And, support the squash and watch and uh, and cheer for us so uh, yeah that's really that's really exciting and only adds to the, I think the um, suspense and looking forward to that event. Before the uh, times of social media and much coverage on the internet and things like that um, I didn't actually get to see much of the top level squash when I was younger so but um, I really do remember going to watch the British Open when it was in Liverpool um, and uh, I think I think David Palmer won it that year, and you know that really sticks in my in my mind vividly, and just the sense of greatness and the awe of the occasion. Um, so yeah, that's not lost on me at all when when we go to play it now, and um, yeah, it'd be great to to add my name to that list of uh, you know, squash squash legends, effectively. <laughs> I think it would be amazing to be able to um, say you've called yourself the British Open champion. That would be that would be pretty darn awesome. Um, you know, it, it, like I said, it's it's something that it's been on my radar for many many years. The British Open, and I think for many years of those, it didn't seem like a possibility of getting close to winning it. So now, you know, right up there with everyone and competing with with all the players. So. And it's it's open, you know, for anyone to win. I think it'd be, it be, it would, you know, crown off a whole career for me to be able to say I'd won the British Open. Exactly.